I am classic, yet undefined. A synthesis of the mind as it relates to all space and all time. I know my origin, African, so therefore my definition has no end. I'm not a baby mama. <laughs> I'm a mother. Not just to my two, but to others. This voice that I produce comes from my life and, well, stems from deep within. Knowledge is not only power, but powerful medicine. Listen. As I began to allow this mental pen to descend, the final chapter translates as the molestation of Lynn, the living death of a child. What happened to that young girl? <clears throat> Cannot be cured, saved. No fucking elixir can fix her. But I'm not a victim, rather a survivor. I go the distance and beyond, always attempting to go higher. But I fall, sometimes, to a slow ass crawl. Still, I cannot quit. God, the catalyst in this metamorphosis, the end of land, rise of spirit. And my poetic vernacular, well, it's simply spectacular. Phonetical, poetical, perpetual, intellectual, a woman who is intelligent, sensual, and um, <laughs> very sexual. But a queen in every way. Every damn minute of every damn day. And trust me, I have a whole lot to say. First, to my brothers who constantly change the game. The black KKK is their newly appointed name. No respect for life or its meaning. They just go, bang, bang. Another young Negro slain. By the hand, on one of the same. <laughs> Down comes a name. To my sisters who claim the non-progression fame of government assistance, I mean what? For your existence? It's supposed to be a temporary stop, not a permanent vacation. This is not your vocation or even reparations. It's a negation, a separation, a refurbished segregation. So many issues. And need repair, the more I look, the more I can't help but stare. And our true history, which you're not even aware because you can only receive that when you begin to care. People equal different life experience and um, good or bad, I'd like to thank them. A lioness unleashed, and she's a motherfucking beast. Welcome to my inner sanctum. Queen Mary Jane, beautifully consuming my air, my mouth watering, nipples stiff, like that dick right there. <laughs> this will be a purely physical spectacle. You need temporary storage for that dick? Well, my mouth is your receptacle. I got a trick on that chocolate, a true dickaholic. In other words, overhead that is quite exceptional. Now, I ain't no hoe like that, just for show sure like that. <laughs> Damn. I didn't know your shit could grow like that. I see you ready to begin. 
I'm running across all of her. Oh, oh, girl from before? Shit. Bring her ass on in. Pretty eyes, thick thighs, and skin smelling so sweet. Your dick is king, you know what I mean, but um, she be a little bit pussy me. A hard dick and a little pussy now. That's my ultimate treat. Shh, 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 shh. I wasn't supposed to say that, right? Yeah, I should be ashamed to be me. Well, that's not gonna happen because in this moment, and through these words, I set myself free. <laughs> they say this, and they say that. Who the fuck is they, anyway? <laughs> Saying a lot of shit don't make it fact. Now back to this dick I left out. When you wake up, baby, you may be a little shocked. Old girl and I are taking turns on that morning walk. You know my mouth is said to be its alarm clock. And uh, patience is my virtue. So you get a new tongue rotation with every issue. Relax in my key. I got you. As all good things do come to an end, there is a clear message that I want to send, and that is live, be happy, be free. I'm not afraid to be the woman I want to be. <laughs> Think, act, and feel just like me. To give less than my best, well, that's just not my style. Spirit, the queen has arrived and uh, I plan to hang around.